brother, where is your partner? You. Yes. Come here. There's something moving in your stomach. Huh? Amen. Come here, sister. Where are your children? At home. Huh? At home. Since you gave birth, there's been a problem here. Let's bring your partner. There's been a serious pain here inside. God must heal you. You hear me? Amen. You feel this thing that is really causing a lot of problems in your stomach. Come on! Oh, you dig! There's a brother here. You went for interview this week. Come here very fast. Run here fast. Oh, Jesus. Run here very fast. This week, this week, brother, God wants to give you a job. Amen. And this job will wipe away the poverty at the whole. Amen. I receive. Do you hear me? Amen. This job will wipe away all your problems. Amen. I receive. Remember how you grew up. Amen. You hear me? Amen. You've been struggling a lot. Amen. This is the time to rejoice. <laughs> Come on. Greetings in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ, viewers all over the world. Welcome to Charis Missionary Church. This is our Sunday live service under the leadership of Apostle JB and Prophetess T. Makaranese. And with me here today is my family who were located during the service by Prophet Andres Simono, who ministered upon their lives. Ma'am, kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. My name is Omse, and this is my husband. I come from Tudusa. Today, during the service, Prophet Andres located you and he spoke upon your life. Please tell us what he said and please confirm it. Oh, he said, uh, if something in my home is moving around, and Jesus wants to heal me. And do you confirm the prophecy received to be true? Yes, that's true. Mm. I can say it's a. Um, Long story, no. Since I was a child, it's been happening. And I didn't get any help. I thank God today that I get help. And so how do you feel that your family was located? Mm, I'm very happy because this thing of womb issue has is, is been a problem to us. And so today I'm very happy because the prophet has located this problem. So... It's been an issue to him. Even today, she told me about this issue in the morning before we come here to church. I'm very happy that this God has sorted out for us. We thank you. And how would you encourage somebody who's going through what you went through before you received prayer today? I can say to somebody, believe in God, be a child of God. God, there's nothing he cannot do for us as his children. So I believe that as we stay in trusting in God, God did it for us today. I thank God. I thank God of Charis. I thank God. Sir, kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. Oh, my name is Wesley Masongani. I'm coming from, make sure I'm staying in Tembisa currently, but I'm from Lipombo. Today during the service, Prophet Andres Simona located you and he spoke upon your life. Kindly please tell us what he said and please confirm it. Yeah, I find the, the prophecy correct because it, it is true because on Monday, I went for interview, I was invited for interview. So I went for interview and I'm still waiting for the response from them. So to confirm the prophecy, it is true. So what exactly did Prophet Andre say to you today? Oh, he, 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 he calls, that he see, he some, someone that someone was called this week. So I went, went for the interview. A, a man went for, for the interview and I was that person who went for the interview on Monday. And Prophet Andres also declared that um, this is going to be a new beginning and what's coming is going to wipe your tears. And he also mentioned how you grew up. So I'd love that you briefly explain to us what was he talking about. <laughs> oh, I was talking about the, my, the, his way, the way, the way um, I grew up, really. I was struggling really. until now, until I went for this interview. I was struggling, it's true. So I'm just looking forward, and I hope that I will get this job. Mm. And how long have you been trusting in God for a job? I think four years now. Because last time I was here last month, I did came, I did came here. 
Yeah, and, I pray, and he prayed for us. He was praying for everyone who, 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 were, who were looking for a job. So by, by God's grace, God located me and I received the interview. Mm. Yeah. And how do you feel that today the man of God located you and ministered upon your life regarding an interview that you had this past Monday? <laughs> it is an answer to my prayer. So it is an answer to my prayer because I've been praying, I've been fasting, I've been, I've been having faith, I, I guess. Yeah, so it is an answer to my prayer. Brother, look here. Since you left your house, things are very difficult for you. Amen. Very difficult. You know, it's as if someone is using something on you. Stand up. Stand up, brother. Since you left your house, but I want to restore you today. Amen. You hear me? Amen. Because I see some things that have been used. I cannot mention more about this problem. So, but I believe God is going to help you. Amen. In Jesus' name. name of Jesus. Let me get someone there to help me. You must pray against fibroid. It's true. You hear me? Mm. There's signs of a fibroid there. It's true. No? It's true. You went to the doctor? Eh? Did you go to the doctor? Mm. They said what? operation for what for five brain let's give glory to Jesus you know, that's, why, that's why I'm telling you that this is a fibroid you know and I see that even if they do an operation on you it will still come back because it's a spiritual matter you know, remember this this man was always abusing you in your dreams. Mm. He's trying to sleep with you. Dream yourself as if someone is trying to sleep with you. So you need to pray. Amen. You, you hear me? Amen. I want God to heal you before operation. Amen. You believe that? I believe. In Jesus' name. Your five breaths. Come on! Out! Come on! Out, you five bread. Can you see that? You come to someone and say, five bread. Say, I've been, I've got an appointment of the operation. So we really need to thank God because of this church. Right. And I'm sure God will cancel it. <laughs> Let her come here. Let's cancel this. In the name of Jesus. She's free. You must never kill yourself, you. You hear me? Are you hearing what I'm saying to you? Huh? You must yes. not kill yourself. You know, this, these voices you are hearing, spirits, you're hearing me, because you always hear you're not good enough. It's better you die. Huh? Yes. You don't kill yourself. If I don't tell you this, I see this tragedy will come. You're hearing me? Where's your mom? She's up there. Let's bring your mom. This is very serious. Very serious. If I don't pray for you, this, this will happen when no one is thinking. And this must never happen in the name of Jesus. Amen. It must never happen. Mama, 
This girl, you must check this girl. Do you check this girl? Mm? Stand there with her. Don't cry, my girl, don't cry. You're saying she's doing what? She's always angry. She's always angry. Yes. This girl wants to kill herself. She wants to kill herself. Let, let's allow mistakes to be mistakes. Yes. You hear me? Yes. Let's allow mistakes to be... There's life ahead of you. Amen. You're hearing me? Amen. If you see me stopping, it means I'm in business. Amen. So now, let's pray that whatever Satan... is because he's hearing things here. You hear voices. Huh? Yes. And these are voices that has been after the life of your mother. Now they want to make your life miserable. I want to tell you, Jesus will be there. You know, the day you want to kill yourself, God will come. Amen. You know, sometimes some people will try to put a rope here. God will come there and cut it. In Jesus' name. Because how can you be a child and you think about poison? Huh? If a child like this is already thinking about poison, this is danger coming. This is serious danger coming. In the name of Jesus. Ma'am, please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. Uh, my name is Arkun Sausigide. I come from Clifontaine. Today during the service, Prophet Andres located you and he spoke upon your life. Please tell us what he said and please confirm it. Um, he told me about this suicide thoughts that I've been having for a very long time now. And he has been telling the truth because I've been hearing voices. Um, each time when I'm alone, I hear voices that I'm not good enough. And, oh. and how has that affected you? Um, I'm always angry, depressed. And how do you feel that today the man of God located you and he spoke upon your life? I feel relieved. Relieved. Yeah, um, I feel relieved. And I know that I won't be hearing those voices anymore. And what is it that you're going to do that is different should you hear those voices again? I'm going to pray. I have to pray. That's what I know. And how would you encourage your peers that are watching this and they're having suicidal thoughts? Um, they should pray. 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 Touch your stomach. So, something wrong. Look, look here. Something wrong is happening to your blood. Eh? Huh? Your menstruation. Yes. Huh? Yes. Huh? When was the last time you saw it? Day before yesterday. Mm, come here. Something wrong is like now there's over bleeding now. Huh? Yes. This is not mess. This is blood now. Because it's supposed to be three days, so now it's more. That's what I'm telling you. You're, you're saying it's supposed to be three days. Now it's more now. Mm. This is no longer normal. This is bleeding. Yes. You hear me? Amen. In Jesus' name. You demon! This is bleed. Can I pray for you? Huh? You are the father of this child. Huh? Yes, prophet. You want to marry this lady? Yes, prophet. What is she? Yes, Papa, I want to marry. Come, Mama. What was her, Mama? You want to marry this lady? Yes, prophet, I want to marry. Today I want God to restore your life. Thank you, prophet. You hear me? I hear you, prophet. You, you have been suffering. This is enough. Thank you, prophet. You know, but yes. you also made a mistake. Yes, papa. By selling the car, you made a mistake. Yes, I know, prophet. You are not supposed to sell that car. Yes, papa. Now everything is down. Yes, prophet. You hear me? Yes, papa. So now... That car was supposed to be still around so that the business can continue. Yes, Papa. So everything is down, but allow God to give you another car. Thank you, Prophet. You hear me? Yes, Papa. What I want you to do, 
from this moment. Yes, Papa. Forgive this woman. Yes, Papa. You hear me? Yes, Papa. Remember there were charms. Yes, yes, no. That you saw. Yes, Papa. It's she was, exactly. She was trying to hide them. The charm was trying to block my okay. my manhood. This woman was not good for you. Thank you, ma'am. Don't sleep over the whole night. One day you will wake up like this, you find a stone there. Hey, hey. Some of you here are married, you are surprised your partner does not pray. Every time after she eats, you'll be surprised. One day you'll do the blanket like this. You find a dog there. Don't know what you're gonna say to the dog. Or the dog there, how? You will run away. I'll pray for you. Go and do what is right with this one. If you want God to lift you up, Mama, Gala will push to church. A woman yes. must push her husband to church. Yes. We are Nizwa. Now this one is your child now. Yes, Nyabo. Nyabo. In Jesus' name. Forgive your ex-wife. You didn't know that is this type of a person. In the name of Jesus. May God bless you today. As I'm touching you. May you be restored in the name of Jesus. May your business be restored in Jesus' mighty name. This man sold everything. This man. He even sold the spot where he was selling. So God must give you another one. You hear me? You're free. I believe today it's a service of restoration. Come on! You're free, mama. You're free. Come on! <laughs>